Uh, thank you all for for coming. As uh, many of the folks here know, it was not too long ago that this was a much different scene. This uh, corner of uh, the Parkersburg area. You had a black column of churning smoke that seemed to last for days and days. I recall that someone said that the, the site here looked like London during the Blitz. I was talking to Secretary uh, Jeff Sandy about this yesterday and he recalled how frustrating it was at times for our men and women to, to fight this fire. The bulldozer would go through to clear debris and the fire that they thought had been extinguished would pop right back up. It was the nature of this, this fire. But let's fast forward to today under thankfully partially blue skies and it's a much different situation. And that's certainly a testament to the men and women uh, uh, for whom uh, we're here today. And it's also a testament to the, the leadership of uh, Governor Jim Justice. Let's start with uh, a brief overview and recap from our State Fire Marshal, uh, Ken Tyree. And he will be followed by two officials who will provide what we believe will be a final update from the state's perspective regarding the fire, the remediation, and the cleanup. Uh, 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 the fire, the investigation, and the, and the uh, cleanup. Uh, Marshal Tyree. Good morning, Governor. Thank you for your support. And from the state of West Virginia's fire service, thank you for everything. Today for this incident, I'd like to uh, recognize those 39 first responding agencies, primarily fire departments that participated in this horrific event and the good work that they provided during the many days that uh, it took during this incident. Uh, first, I'll start off with the Wood County Departments, Parkersburg Fire Department, Lubeck Volunteer Fire Department, Leonard Hassett Volunteer Fire Department, Washington Bottom, Pond Creek, Mineral Wells, Eastwood, Waverly, Deer Walk, Williamstown, Vienna, Wood County Airport, from Doddridge County, Greenwood Volunteer Fire Department, from Ritchie County, Ellenboro, and Smithfield Volunteer Fire Department, Cairo Volunteer Fire Department. Also from Ritchie County, Pennsboro Volunteer Fire Department, and Harrisville, from Jackson County, Ravenswood, Silverton, Ripley, from Pleasance County, St. Mary's, Belmont, from Wirt County, Elizabeth, Wirt County Volunteer Fire Department, from Kanawha County, Jaeger, Air National Guard, and then the Ohio Fire Departments that were involved and supported in this incident. First, Marietta Fire Department, Reno Fire Department. Dunham Township, Fearing Township, Newport Volunteer Fire Department, Wesley Township, Salem Township, Little Muskegon, Little Hawking, Belpre, Lowell Adams, or better known as LA, Barlow, Warren Township, and then Beverly. Again, we appreciate the great support provided at this incident, and Governor, again, thank you for all the support you give to the fire service throughout the state, and particularly to this incident. Deputy State Fire Marshal Jason Baltic will now provide uh, what should be a final recap from the State Fire Marshal's Office perspective regarding this fire and the resulting investigation. Morning everyone, morning Governor. Uh, with the uh, fire investigation, the morning of the fire, uh, we had six investigators uh, from the state here. We brought in our special ops truck and trailer. Um, several man hours, numerous interviews were put into this. Obviously, with the, the destruction of the scene, it was relatively difficult to do anything with the scene. Um, as of right now, the fire is undetermined in cause and will stay that way. Uh, and if and when anything, any information or any 
uh, leads would develop, then we'll work on those leads as they come in. Um, and if anything else does come up, we'll, we'll stay right on top of it. We're still continuing the investigation. Um, I have worked on an interview two weeks ago concerning this fire. Uh, so it's not over. Um, we are still working on it and we'll continue to work on it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. As Secretary Sandy has often recounted, Governor Justice committed a lot of state resources to helping the local and county uh, first responders and officials deal with this fire. It was an all-hands-on-deck approach, and that included resources and assistance from our Department of Environmental Protection. Uh, Rusty Joins will now give a brief uh, recap of, of uh, from the state's perspective, where we are with the cleanup and remediation. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning Governor. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> I uh, just want to provide an overview of the uh, current situation with the site remediation. Uh, since last October, the West Virginia DEP has maintained uh, communication with uh, IEI and their consultant, uh, which includes weekly site visits uh, to assess and monitor the cleanup operations. IEI, uh, some of the steps they took was uh, IEI diverted stormwater to uh, a collection pond on site uh, uh, also, there is a uh, treatment system that was uh, put into place that um, to treat the collected water prior to discharge. Uh, the solid waste removal is nearly complete. To date, they have uh, removed 15,919 tons of solid waste and 2,122 pounds or tons of uh, metal from the site. Uh, it is anticipated that the cleanup will be complete uh, on or around September 17th. The, um, the site does have three um, uh, areas where there are land use restrictions. Uh, one of them is the uh, uh, paint pit area, the heat treat area, and the um, sorry, the um, clean soil cap area. All of those areas, uh, the measures that were approved through the brownfields remediation uh, remained intact during the fire and during the uh, rem site remediation. Uh, through the voluntary remediation program, those uh, voluntary measures will also be monitored annually to ensure that those measures remain intact and are maintained to protect human health and the environment. Thank you. Thanks, Thank sir. You for all the work. Thank you, Mr. Joins. Uh, let's turn now to a, a county perspective. Uh, uh, Director Wick, uh, Rick Woodyard of uh, Wood County 911. Governor. Thank you, sir. Morning, everybody. Um, one of the things that, uh, that happened during the event was it brought a lot of folks together. Nobody fights alone, and most certainly we didn't in this incident. All the gentlemen to my left and all the gentlemen to my right whether they were first responders, uh, elected officials, immediately responded to the area. Governor, I want to thank you personally because your people was spot on the scene immediately when they were notified here. Director Jeanette, your office was here. Uh, one of the things that we were facing was, was how we were going to fight the beast and the financial cost associated with that. And without your help and the, and the $1.4 <laughs> million that you brought to this county, and I think it'll be echoed by our commission and everyone here, we would have been in, in dire straits. Uh, with that having been said, one of the things that we uh, discovered during the incident was our lack or ability, uh, and go ahead with the uh, truck. With the, oh, do you uh, want to do that now? <laughs> sure. Um, go ahead. Uh, following up on what Director Woodard's talking about, uh, not only did the state commit resources to respond to this incident, but as part of its, its duty to ensure the safety and security of West Virginia's people and property. Uh, there's been a lot of looking forward to see what we can do to be proactive to enhance the response next time, whatever the event is. And as a result, the decision was made to provide this regional response hazardous materials vehicle for use by not just the, the folks in Parkersburg and Wood County, but first responders uh, and other uh, 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 officials uh, throughout this region. I'd like to bring D Director Jeanette of the Division of D uh, Homeland Security and Emergency Management uh, 
who is also the state's Homeland Security Advisor, to the podium. Uh, uh, he will uh, assist the governor in presenting, uh, symbolically, the keys of this vehicle to uh, local officials. Good morning. You know, after the events of 9-11, first responders across this country had to relook at how we responded to incidents of weapons of mass destruction. And in 2001, after that happened, West Virginia started to look at what would we do if something like that that happened in New York or the Pentagon happened here. So they began to build what's known as the Regional Response Program. Across the state, we have deployed numerous vehicles, as you see here, that have multiple types of capabilities. We have capabilities to deal with hazmat incidents, search and rescue type events, and, and also uh, medical mass casualty. As we evolved with these vehicles over time, we started to, to move from the terrorism side to looking at how we use this equipment for everyday operations. And the governor is well familiar, familiar with how we used our search and rescue capabilities in White Sulphur Springs and Lewisburg during the 16 flood. The capabilities that were built and the partnerships that have been built across the state and with the National Guard helped us to put resources there that were able to help locate a lot of the victims that died during that horrific event. And so it's with the governor's support here today that we're able to supply a hazmat vehicle to Wood County to be used in the Mid-Ohio Valley to be able to respond and support those type of hazardous events like we had here with the IEI fire. <coughs> so, Governor? Oh, okay. Who am I giving this to? Who should? Permission? Well, I've got the keys. Come on, guys. Here you go. Well, you can drive away. All right, sir. Am I presenting the keys to this great county commissioner man here? Yes, sir. Sir. James and everybody. James and Bob. Jimmy, Jimmy wants to drive. Jimmy. Jimmy. So I need to drive. It. Thank you, sir. Thank you, man. Thank, Thank you. you so much. All right, now y'all can't y'all can't all drive on the same day <laughs> and everything, but God bless and thank you so much. Well, once we learn how to park it, can we certify ourselves? Yeah. Yeah, you can. Thanks. Just real quickly, uh, Governor, I hope this doesn't add to the tab. Uh, 1.4 million plus another million dollar truck. But uh, this man right here has given so much to Wood County in just the past 12 months. But this truck will help those guys. It's going to be an asset to bring in a cascade system to provide additional resources anytime we have something bad happen. But everybody responded. Uh, but I, the, our hearts go out to our first responders for all the work they did. And every now and again, when the breeze hits, it, I can smell it again when we were all here. But, Governor, way to go, man. Just awesome. Thank you so much. And, uh, thank, uh, thank Mayor Joyce uh, for finding a home to park this thing and keep an eye on it. I'll give it back to the guy that matters. <laughs> Thank you, President Couch. As Director Woodard had mentioned, uh, the men to our uh, men and women to our left and right played such an instrumental role in uh, ensuring this was a successful response to this event. Well, I, we'd now like to hear from several of the chiefs of these uh, fire departments that responded, uh, starting with uh, uh, Lubeck Fire Chief and Incident Commander uh, uh, Chief Stewart. How you doing, sir? Thank you. Uh, as many of people have already mentioned, this was a major task for our county. Um, our county is blessed to have the knowledge and the uh, resources that we do have, and now we have a few more, thanks to the governor. And also, uh, it was an amazing task to, to fight this fire for 10 days and not have one single injury or fatality. So that's a, a a big plus from these guys here and I'd like to thank every one of them that are standing here as well as the commissioners for uh, their support. Um, 
I think it was Sunday morning, Commissioner Couch and I were standing out front and I said, we got a big problem. He said, what's that? And I said, we've got 200 firefighters here today, but come Monday morning they all go back to work and it might just be me and you out here. And so I think that scared him. And uh, we went and made, he went and made some phone calls, uh, talked to the governor's office. We had a meeting that evening and we were able to hire an, a, a mediator to come in and, and and dig his fire out for us, and uh, all we had to do was provide them support. So it was a 10 day event, no injuries. Uh, everybody worked well together, didn't have any major problems, and uh, that's a big plus for, I think, for everybody in Wood County. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. We'd now like to hear from uh, Parkersburg Chief Matthews. Good morning. Good morning, Governor. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Uh, just wanted to say a quick thank you to the governor um, for for stepping in, helping out, uh, and, and and like uh, Chief Stewart said, such a uh, horrific event. Uh, it had such a great impact on uh, citizens of Parkersburg, with uh, being right across the street, the homes and businesses uh, being in our district. Um, even the building behind this truck is something that Parkersburg responds to. Um, you know. Like Chief Stewart said, we all stepped up, we came together, we worked together, worked together excellent. Um, and uh, you know, for, for the money that uh, you were able to uh, procure for us to get this going and get it, get it taken care of, we, I just want to say thank you again. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. We'd now like to hear from Chief Wills. Uh, on behalf of the Washington County Fire Chiefs uh, Association, I'd like to thank uh, Governor Justice uh, for all their support and everything they did. Uh, as you know, uh, practically every department in Washington County didn't hesitate to come over and help out our brothers and sisters when, when they needed it, as uh, I'm sure they would come and help us uh, whenever. Um, with, with the governor's assistant in the state of West Virginia, we were able to uh, uh, contain the fire, and as the Chief Stewart said, there was no injuries. And uh, that, that was the, the best part of it of all. Uh, we got the fire out, no injuries. That's a success in my book. Thank you, Governor. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Chief. We'd now like to hear from uh, Chief Durham from Marietta. Good <coughs> Governor. Thank you, sir. Good to see you. Thank you. I would like to start by thanking Governor Justice uh, without his support. Uh, we can place as many firefighters on this scene as we have available, but without the support of the governor, without the support of the commissioners, we cannot fully do our job and do it safely without not only the support, but the financial support that he provided for this incident. So that made a huge difference in our response and the outcome of the fire. I would like to thank you on behalf of the citizens of Marietta. So thank you very much. Uh, secondly, I'd like to say you should be very proud of the state you represent. Uh, the teamwork that I see when we come across the river is absolutely amazing. We are welcome with open arms, and everyone goes towards a single mission, so you should be very proud of the state you represent. And the, the last thing I would like to thank is the Coast Guard for Huntington Port uh, for entrusting the fireboat to us to be able to support anywhere in the Huntington Port, being able to bring it down and support this mission down here as well. So thank you very much, sir. Very good. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Chief. In addition to all the area fire departments that responded, an array of other first responders participated in uh, dealing with this event as well. Uh, if representatives of the Parkersburg Police Department would please step forward. For the duration of this event, Parkersburg police officers helped uh, with such tasks as traffic control and basic support, ensuring that this did prove to be an injury-free event response. So on behalf of Governor Justice, uh, we're presenting this certificate of appreciation to the Parkersburg Police Department. Thank you, sir. Let's get our picture made here. All right. <laughs> 
You, you got to get, get out here where you, we'll, we'll get some behind here. Come on, somebody join me. Secretary, do you want to get the picture? Thank you, sir. Thank you, Captain. And we have, we have saved the best for last. Now for a few remarks is the governor of the great state of West Virginia, Jim Justice. Well, first of all, let me say this. A lot of y'all are standing and the sun's kind of beating down on you and it's probably a little tough to stand. I couldn't do it with my knee, but just think about it just a second. You know, maybe we've even been a little long, but just think about what these great men and women were doing to put this terrible, terrible fire out. Now, many people have thanked me and that's great because somebody had to make a decision and I'm honored to just to, to, to have been in a position to make a decision that was the right decision. When the call came and there was nowhere to turn, either let the fire continue to burn until insurance companies made up their mind on what they were going to do, which could have been weeks and weeks, or make a decision. That's what I'm about, and that's what we did. But the decision didn't put the fire out. You guys, all of y'all, all of your efforts together are what should be honored. Seeing West Virginia, Ohio, all the different counties, everybody pull together. That's what we're supposed to do. And that's what we did. Now, when I came here and the fire was still just brewing, when that was going on, the odor, you could smell it everywhere, could you not? Schools closed. Nobody really knew what was going to be the long-term health consequence of the fire. But we knew one thing, it had to be put out. Because the longer it went, the longer all of us were exposed. So I salute everybody, every single person that's been involved. Especially you first responders that were out here doing the real work. A great county commission, and it goes on and on and on. A great secretary that we have, a great mayor, a great mayors. You know, you did unbelievable work. This was bad. Now, I don't mean kind of bad. We all know how bad this was. And it could have been way worse. Many people thank me it was an honor, a real honor to be able to make a decision. And so I salute you in every way, really proud of you and proud of y'all that are standing out there in the heat and everything and God bless you for everything you've done. You've done incredible work and you should be very, very proud. All I can say is for this great state of West Virginia, we love you and God bless you in every way. Thank you so much for having me. This concludes this event. Hopefully many of you will join us at our 1.30 p.m. event at the uh, Wood County Holding Center. Thank you very much again for coming. I'm going this way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.